what I'd like to do now is to show you how a very ancient, antique and battered umbrella can serve as a useful tool in natural science. You'll see that it's not going to be much use to keep off the rain because it's past its use-by date. But I like it because it's got black and white panels. And having black and white panels, it's extremely useful. So even though I ought to throw it out, and even though it won't stay in position, so I've got to hang on to it like this, this is my tool of choice for today. What I'm going to do is see what is living on this tree. Now you can go around over the tree, peering around, looking through the leaves, and you might find something, but you probably won't. What you can do is this. Grab a branch and give it a good shake, and you should see what we've got here. Ah, I have ladybird. Right, now, in the bottle here is my ladybird. All you can see at this stage is the bottom of it. But now I can release it onto my hand like this. Out! There it is. And as you can see, it's very tiny. Now imagine trying to pick something like that up in any other way. You'd certainly damage it. In this case, I can just put it back. Knowing what to look for now, I can see another one just here. So they're probably all over this tree. But let's go and try one of the other trees and see what we can find there. We'll try a gum tree this time. Now, looking at a gum tree like this, the leaves are all nice and smooth. You'd be fairly certain there was nothing at all on there, but let's give it a test. A bit of a shake like that. And have a look around. And, well, at least one spider here, which is small enough to be pooted. Okay, here is my spider. I've just picked up. Take the lid off once again. And there is a rather nice neat little spider.